skin tight by your side. Check the fit, dude. We haven't done a fit check in a while. You got the 993s. Dad shoes, I felt like made a big ass run and then like, they didn't make a big ass run. They kind of did, right? Like everyone was all dad shoes. And I'm not like a dad shoe guy, but these are comfy. I still do like New Balance. Um, welcome to the video, man. What are we talking about today? Mikey's been sick. <laughs> the black lung. I, uh, so we went to USAPL Nats, had a great time, but one of you motherfuckers came there sick and you got me and the whole squad sick. I was, I was duck, duck dodge, dipping, dodging COVID for what, three years? I made it three years. Damn, and then you got our asses. So I was out probably five days kind of sick and then 10 days total and then probably like 14-ish days without real good training. Um, so today we're gonna talk about how to uh, come back from training from COVID or being sick in general. And rule number one before we hop in the video, if you're feeling sick, don't go to the gym. One, your body's trying to recover and fight something. I don't care if it's the sniffles. And then two, it's just straight up rude. I don't care about COVID. I don't give a fuck about your political takes. We're not talking politics. It's just straight up rude. If you're sick, the cold, fucking herpes, I don't give a fuck what it is. If you have the potential to give it to another human, don't. It's rude. Day two squat every day. We're front squatting today. And let's dive in the video. Tip number two is probably, um, when it comes to like COVID or anything, I'm not a doctor, but it feels like it takes you out pretty good. Like my energy levels are still kind of low. Uh, and so, you know, ease your way back. Like you, you're not gonna lose that much muscle. You're not gonna lose that much strength. While you're sick, don't, don't worry about food and stuff. Like get your veggies, get your fruits in, but you don't gotta track everything. You know, your body's fighting something, let it rock. A lot of liquids, again, all, all the basics are fine. You ain't gotta track it, your macros while you're fucking got 103 degree fever, you know? Let's chill out, let's take a breather. The gains aren't going anywhere. And then when we come back, we're gonna ease it in. So my energy's still a little low, but my body feels fine. Um, I guess the number three tip is similar to a beginner. We don't wanna come in with lightweight and just crazy reps. It's almost better to handle higher intensities. One, I'm just squatting every day, so I'm already there. Um, but getting back in the groove with handling some weight with lower reps and lower volumes, probably gonna get you back into the groove faster. If you're a 315 bencher and you're trying to come back in the gym and you're doing like 135 for sets of 10, thinking it's gonna get you back, you're better off handling 225, 255, 275 for singles to get you back into shape uh, to bench 315. Uh, same with injuries, people think, oh, I'm gonna lower the weight and do a hella high reps. It's actually probably worse for most pains. Maybe not an injury. If you're injured, go to a doctor, go to a physical therapist. But if you're in pain, you wanna handle less time under tension and higher intensities. Or 90 degrees from my body. Okay, see, that's different. Yeah, parallel from the ground is gonna be fucking tough. No, no, you never said that. He moved it. It's like when Captain Look, dude, America. You didn't see I got a fucking. That's like when Captain America moved uh, the hammer. Yeah, that is. And then Thor says, "What does Thor say? I knew it. Because only the truest souls can do this. The chosen ones can do this. Yeah, but no, it didn't. Yours, get ammonia. yours didn't come off the ground. It went like that. No, it came off the fucking ground, dude. We didn't say you got a full splooge. I just got it going. God, dude, you guys look at this. That's all you got to do. All right, do it then. I just did it. I just dislocated my elbow. This hurts. I don't want to do right that. Right here hurts that really hurt. bad. Did you go to the side or front? Don't, don't. So now you want my tips. Damn, that's I, I didn't do it, but you want my tips? You fucking... I did like a... Yeah, I did like a one of those. Look, dude, you're not parallel to the ground, you cheater. Thank you. You got it to move a little bit. Yeah. Not like Mikey didn't. <laughs> What's the Thor quote? I knew he was worthy. Yeah. I'm fucking Captain America, dude. There's another one where you lay on your side and you have your feet propped up and you go like this and this is on the ground and you just do a, and you get yourself up to like a normal push-up position. That I don't know. What about, what about the bazooka? That's the latest hit, the bazooka. I think you gotta deadlift it like this, oh. and then you get it up here. Yeah, yeah, that's wild. I think Juju, Juju, Juju did like 225. I just did that challenge. Send me your challenges in the comments, dude. I can't be beaten. 
I'm Thor and Captain America's love child. That's, wait a minute. They can't have a child, how? How are you gonna have a child? He's a god, dude, he can have a child. How? He's a god. Where's the, where's the baby gonna come He's from? He's not a man. Yeah, but where's the baby going? Where's it at? He's like, a is god. Is it gonna come from the fucking sky? For a pelican, for like all I know. Stork? Yeah, he's a god. You just make things. I don't know if he's a create. He can't. He's not a creator though. He's a son of the That's creator. That's a specific trait. He he's the god of thunder. Yeah, and does, love. Does I've heard. thunder make people? No, it doesn't. Love does. <laughs> that was good. He's got no answer. I'm his Mediterranean love child. Mediterranean love. Mediterranean. Child. Well, cause he's Norse, and I'm not blonde and Norse. I'm Mediterranean. So you I'm his Mediterranean. So you want to let Thor I'm the Mediterranean god of love and thunder. So you want Thor to put a child in you? I am Thor's child. Thor is my muscle daddy. Handcuff lightning, throw thunder in jail. He's bad, man, he's fast. And I'm pretty. I'm so mean I made medicine sick. Um, so the basics in between are push-pull. So do a little benchy bench. My boobies are getting small, I think. So I don't know if you need to add more volume or maybe some flies. Probably do incline hammer, some flies, a little tricep action, and then uh, probably light cardio, because I'll do light cardio with Dan. So instead of doing like, Half an hour, 45 walking. I'll probably do like 15 to 20, and then I'll do a little bikey bike later with Dan. Um, I think that's it, bro. We're chilling. Was we'll even bench heavy. It feels a little heavy. My my joints are a little achy. I think I just don't have the same food. I, I hit a new low, partially because of COVID, partially because I started tracking. I'm like a 202, so my my joints are just a little achy. But um, we'll see where the bench goes. We just maybe need to warm up a little better. Too. gentlemen appreciate your man squat every day success legs feel good a little tired from yesterday but we're jamming cardio we're out of here i'm gonna go eat some uh, pork chops and egg whites because we're getting shredded transformation video coming soon 250 pounds at my fattest we're gonna get to 190 and shredded tell you guys how the journey went i'll catch you next video man every tuesday thursday appreciate your 50 percent facts podcast every wednesday tiktok solid mike follow sebastian what's your actual instagram tag our, that's not too bad. Plug it right here. Follow Seabass on Instagram and uh, 3SP.co, man. New clothes dropping. Appreciate you.